lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilama and today we are going to make this beautiful acrylic painting of radha and krishna so this is the first part of our video in which i'm going to show you to do the acrylic coloring part which is the most important part in this painting so friends please do subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon to get notifications for the next video i'm going to upload in which i'm going to teach you to do the jewelry work the same type you can do in meenakari or you can do for your tanjore paintings so friends be connected and enjoy this painting friends for making the first part of the painting we are going to use the best colors as i always advise you friends to make a best painting you should always use your best colors so this time i'm going to use camel artist acrylic colors of 12 shades few brushes of different numbers from 00000012 and number 3 to a flat hair brush we are also going to need a palette and the most important is going to be our base so you can either use a canvas board or you can also use a stretcher like this on which you have to place a canvas cloth but it would be definitely better to use a canvas board because it has a strong base which is of plywood so let's start now friends this time friends i'm going to use a 24 into 18 inch canvas board and as you can see here friends i have already drawn radha and krishna on my canvas and this is how it looks if you find it difficult in drawing you can also trace the same on your canvas by using my reference from www.creativearthome.com which is my website first of all friends we are going to start painting from the background and for that i'm going to use a combination of fresh tint and 352 pearl metallic gold which will look like this first gently cover up the borders of the figure and then easily you can paint the background so friends in the same way i'll paint the whole background and then show you how does it looks okay now friends after coloring the background we are going to start coloring the main part and first of all we are going to start from the face of krishna and for that i have selected two colors which is ultramarine blue and sky blue color and to do the light shade i'm going to use white and to do the dark shade i'm going to use just a little bit of ultramarine blue but first of all i'm going to do a subtle color on the total face which is a mixture of ultramarine blue and sky blue color and now i'm going to use a white color to submerge that color and also add the highlight on the face part as i'm using acrylic colors so i'm doing it part by part each time i'm going to add a white color to add brightness on few parts of the face and mix it up with the medium color which we have placed and if i want to make the face part darker i am going to use the darker shade which was the mid shade and mix it up using the brush wipe the brush each time so that the color mixing is done properly friends after coloring the face and hand i have given just a slight outline to the figure so that it may define clearly so now friends we're going to start coloring the face and body parts of radha and for that we're going to use skin tone color first of all i always give a base color like i'm giving it here 
and only after that I'll give a light or dark shade to make the highlights on the face or the upper parts like nose or cheek or the chin and the face bones or jawline. I give it a light shading by using white color. Now I'm using the white color to highlight the face parts from the front that is the head bone, the nose bone, the cheeks and the chin. Then I'll wipe my brush and then mix up the colors and then place the darker shade. I'm going to use the chrome yellow from Camel to show the darker shades of the face. For example, the jawline and the neck part. Each time I'm going to use white color to give the highlights on the face. Now friends, I'm going to color hair of Krishna. So this time I'm using a mixture of black and brown color to do it. Now friends, we are coloring the hair part of Krishna. For that, I'm going to use a little bit of brown mixed with black. Do not use the complete black color for hair. Now, I'm going to start coloring the dhotar part of Krishna. For that, I'm going to use a bright chrome yellow color from Fevicryl. Then I have used chrome yellow from Camel Fabrica to do a orangish kind of shading part. And now here friends, I'm using a combination of white with the same chrome yellow color to give the highlight effect. Use a little bit of orange color to give the depth from the side of the dhotar. Now I'm going to color this part of the dhotar. For that, first of all, I'm using maroon color. Now I'm using one tone lighter than it by mixing the same maroon with a little bit of white color. Then I have mixed some more white with the same color. Okay, now friends, we are going to color the sari part and for that, first of all, I'm going to use a mixture of crimson red and magenta and I'll use this color as a base color. And now I'm going to use white mixing with just a little bit of crimson red to get a lighter tone and now I will be giving it a dimension by using this color. Now we'll start mixing the light tone with the crimson and magenta. Now I have start mixing the lighter tone with the darker tone to give it a shading. Now friends, to give a darker tone, I'm going to mix a little bit of ultramine blue with the same crimson red color and give fine and dark lines. Now again, I have used just a little bit of white and now mixing it with the other colors. Now again friends, I'm going to use the same mixture of crimson red and magenta color. First of all, we'll be laying the whole surface with the same base color. Now using white color, I'm going to give a lighter shade. First draw the tiny lines and then using some water and brush, start mixing the fine lines of white with the base color. Now friends, I'm going to place the darker tone to add the depth. 
soil first add to the fine lines of darker tone and then I will be mixing it with the base color. So now friends, in the same way, I'm going to color the rest of the sari. So now friends, I have finally completed doing the sari part and this is how Lord Krishna and Radha look. Now friends, I'm going to start coloring the background and for that, first of all, I'm going to use sap green color and lay a whole layer of sap green on all the base part. First of all, I'm going to color the whole base using sap green color. Now, I'm going to use a lighter shade and do the lighter part of shading using a mixture of the same sap green color, a little bit of yellow and white. And now, I'll wipe my brush and using the same brush, I'll spread it out and start mixing the colors to do the shading. Now, after doing the lighter shade and mixing it completely with the sap green color, now I'm going to create some depth using, using a mixture of sap green with a little bit of ultramine blue. Lay a few lines like this and after that using a wet brush, you can mix it easily. Okay, so after completing this part friends, I'm going to color this part and this is going to be a very light tone. For that, I'm going to use a mixture of sap green with just a little bit of yellow with just a little bit of white and take a lot of water because this is going to be just the primary coating on the base. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of yellow with it and mix both the shades. Now I'm going to use just a little bit of white with it. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of white with orangish yellow and do the shading and give the next shading part. And now I'm mixing white with the same color tone. Now friends, after coloring this part, I'm going to start from the top side of this part and first of all, I'm going to use a mixture of ultramine blue with white. Give the darker shading first, which is going to be this. And then slightly, step by step, we'll be increasing quantity of white in the same color and bring it downwards. The painting looks much more brighter because of the background color we have given to it. Now I will let this part get dry and if required, I'm going to do one more layer of the same shading on it. So friends, this is how beautiful our acrylic painting look. When the whole coloring part is finally completed, I know you're waiting for the next part. But let's take a close up view of our painting. So this is the top view. You can clearly see the beautiful shading part and Radha Krishna's posture. I just love it. I'm waiting to complete it but it will be completed in just two days so just wait and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification as soon as I complete the next part you will be able to see it. To watch the next part is highly highly recommended. The next part is going to be very very exclusive. We are going to do the jewelry part and as you know everything is better with a little bit of gold. So this painting is going to have some gold jewelry. So be connected and keep watching. Enjoy your day friends.